Hi there, I'm Chris Maddox. I am the writer, creator, and teacher at the Wild Woman Project. Com. And I'm really excited to talk to you today because it is almost time for our new moon. The new moon falls on a Sunday, this Sunday, February 10th, 2013. At the Wild Woman Project, we make a big deal out of the new moon. It's a, really a time for kind of checking in with ourselves seeding things, creating intentions, and just sort of realigning with that which is most important to us. So the way that we do that, one of the principal ways that we do that, is we meet in circles all over the country, which is the United States. Um, and there's even one circle in Canada. There's a circle that you can call into on the phone from wherever you are in the world um, if you cannot make it to a physical circle. And it is a time that we deeply connect to ourselves and to our community. So each month brings with it a new theme. And that theme fuels the content of the circles, that is the meditations that we do, the exercises, the explorations. It also um, themes the content of the website for that month, as well as the theme of the monthly workshop that I do uh, one Saturday a month in New York City. So this month's theme is inspired by the new moon in Aquarius. And Aquarius really is the humanitarian of the zodiac. It is the energy that lives within all of us, which calls us to want to serve. How can I make a greater contribution? How can I give more back? So it can be big, broad ways that we're looking at this, you know, charities, volunteer work, but also a loving perception and a loving way of being. That is to say, our thoughts, our words, our actions in the world. How we, how we communicate to our neighbors, how we communicate to our loved ones. The smallest, the tiniest, the seemingly insignificant interactions that we have. How can I show up in a loving manner so that in whatever small way I am making a positive drop in the ocean? So our theme is living in service. So very inspired by the work of Gandhi, the work of Mother Teresa, and these karma yogis and yoginis who have made a practice out of getting out of the I, me, mine mentality that is so very prevalent and waking up each morning and saying, how can I serve? So that is the aspect that we are going to be looking at throughout the month, and I'm really excited about it because it gets us out of our self, out of our own mind. It even gets you out of self-consciousness. Whenever you're thinking, I'm just showing up, I'm here to serve. This is not about me. It's a huge shift. So we'll be exploring that in the circles. We'll be exploring that in this month's content. If you're not on the newsletter, you can just put your email uh, address in uh, the bar uh, on the homepage of the Wild Woman Project. Or you can sign up for my workshop in New York City, which is Saturday, February 16th, 1 to 4 p.m. We're going to go deep into this topic. Um, it's very, it's physical, emotional, and spiritual uh, experience. So I hope to see you there. So I will leave you with the wise words of Mahatma Gandhi, who said, the best way to find yourself is to lose yourself in the service of others. 